Hi guys, good evening everyone. So in this session, right? So we are into Java eight features. So in this session, we will talk about what is a functional interface versus a lambda expression. In the earlier video, we discussed in detail about what is lambda expressions, and we discussed about what functional interfaces. What is the relationship between the two? Means absolutely yeah. not. Functional interfaces are used to invoke or call what lambda expressions. We wrote functional interface and lambda expressions how you can call that term a lambda expression right to call that lambda expressions to invoke the lambda expressions functional interfaces are required and why that functional interface should have only exactly one abstract method why was the reason now i will explain now remember at this moment functional interfaces are used to invoke or call the lambda expressions right Yes. Let me put in the style. Let me take one basic example, right? Let me take one basic example and then I'll explain. Just observe here now. What I'm doing is, just I'm taking one class, functional interfaces and lambda expressions first. Let's. I'm taking. I'm not taking here lambda expressions. Let me go it in the normal style. I'm taking one interface called some practice. I am taking one interface called some practice. Now let me make this one as absolutely you know. So I am taking I am taking white chop. I am taking one, one one abstract method called what is that job job. Now we guys know I have the interface. Someone should be there to provide implementations or not? Yes, I am taking practice. Implementation class and we have a keyword called what is that implements. If you don't know idea on this, just please watch my earlier videos. Perfect. So whenever a class is implementing the interface, we should override all the methods from that interface or not? Yes. Or else we need to make that class as a what? Abstract. I am writing in this way. I am writing here. Perfect. How you can invoke this method? This method. So we are creating. Let me take main method. Sorry. Let me take main method. Right. Now what I'm doing is interface name, some variable name, some variable name is equal to new implementation class. What is the implementation class? Practice. I am here. Perfect. Now call what is a method? Practice dot. What is the method we have? Show. So this you guys know anyhow, right? Whereas Java application. Yes, what is it I'm getting? Job. Because when I run this program, it will come to main method and object is creating, and whenever we are creating object using interface reference name, right? It will check is there any method on this reference name? Yes, my practice is my reference name. Yes, in the practice is there a name? Job method. Yes, actually this method is going to be executed at runtime in the implementation class. Very basic, these guys, this this guy, this thing you guys know. Right, but this the same thing I want to invoke through what my lambda expression. I want to invoke through what now my lambda expression. Let me comment these things. Let me comment out. Let me comment this two things as well. Now, for here, guys. Up to here now. So, for this, right, I want to write the what now? A lambda expression. How I can write the lambda expression? Now, up to here now. What is syntax is just observe carefully here now. So, functional interfaces are used to invoke lambda expressions. Now, functional interface. Some variable name is equal to in this functional interface. Which method you want to invoke? Which method you want to invoke in this functional interface? One method called what is it method? Job method. Is it having any parameters? No, it is not having any parameter. Right? Arrow mark. You guys provide some implementations. That's all. Now you are telling that what happens is your compiler will check on this functional interface. Is there any method with zero parameters? 
if it is there this implementations are going to map with that what corresponding method what it means means observe here now so what is syntax let me remove this code now what is syntax functional interface what is my functional interface practice practice some practice is equal to is equal to in this functional interface you want to invoke what a method right this is a method now open press because it is not having what any parameters open press i and i want to convert that as a lambda expression for this provide the what implementation so i am providing here like s by s of job means what my compiler will do is write it in check in this style in this practice interface is there any method with zero parameters yes of course here it is the method with zero parameters and for this method it is going to map these are the implementations for this what job method this aroma provides like a mapping to the whom interface abstract method which interface function interface let me explain again one more time so my compiler will check this practice is an interface in this practice interface is there any method with zero parameters yes here is the method with zero parameters for this method these are the what implementations suppose if i write like this in ta is this valid invalid because in this interface is there any method with zero parameters not there here we have a method with what one parameter suppose if i write like this in ta now is this valid in this practice functional interface is there any method with one integer yes of course this is valid suppose if i don't write this any problem no problem at all my compiler internally adds what the type it will check in this practice interface is there any method with one parameter yes this is of type what now integer now this will be converted to what now Teacher, by default, my compiler will add it. Right? Very good. Let me remove this as of now. Now, perfect. Lambda expression is ready. Now, how we can call this? Practice dot. What is the method? Job. See now. Let me run this. Run as Java application. Now, see now. What is the output you are getting now? Yes, sir. This is a way to call what a lambda expression. So here, if you want to convert this one as a functional interface, right? Annotate that interface with functional interface. This is one basic example, right? Let me take one more. Let's assume that I want to find the string length of the string. I want to find the length of the string. Let me invoke through what now? Lambda expressions. Now what I'm doing is okay. Already here it is there. Now for you guys. So what I'm doing is, let me take. I'm taking functional interface and lambda expressions test two. Now for you guys. So what I'm doing is, guys, remember, without Java there is no Selenium, right? People are looking for automation. Some people they are being what's up right? They're calling it Ramesh. Selenium is required Java 100%. Not entire Java, at least you have good understanding on 70% of Java. It's very important, guys. Right. Now, I'm taking one interface, something like I'm taking one interface as job. Let's assume that. Now, inside this, I'm taking, if I pass string, it should give what? A length of the string in the form of integer. That's why int. I am taking one method as length. So if I pass the string, if I pass the string, if I pass the string, this method should find the length of the string and it written in the form of what now integer. Now I want to convert this is my what now? functional interface. How I can invoke this functional interface through what now? a lambda expression? 
you can invoke lambda expressions through what now function interface it means now up to here now so i'm taking job some job c equal to let me write the lambda expression here now so one parameter is there right i'm taking one parameter as something plus yes let's map with the now provide the method body now see here now up to here guys now up to here now just up to here now now so what i what will do generally yes dot let me instead of this let me first explain with the now so let me without lambda expression let me explain first now job i am purely implements what is that job so we need to provide the what the implementation yes of course you guys know that's nice now now sorry now so what i'm doing is str dot length if i pass the string it will turn a what now length of it how i can call it in general job some job is equal to new implementation class for it for is implementation class for it job i am paired right on this i want to invoke right job dot what is the method i need to call it length i am passing the string as drum is soft now it's going to return the length in the form of what now in t short i am writing like length let me print on the console s y s o of length or length of the string s what is the length of the string length of the string s what is the length of the string something i am writing like let me run this run as java application yes proceed now see now it is running length of length is about now 10 this i want to invoke without implementation class i want to invoke through what now a lambda expression how i can do that can you people tell me yes which function interface you want to invoke for this lambda expression job some job now i'm writing function interface right open brace now what i'm doing is right so it will check my compiler will check in this job interface how do you, how my compiler knows that this is a lambda expression because we are using what now this arrow mark which represents which provides maps to the what a lambda expression now my compiler will check in this job interface is there any method with zero parameters not there that's why i'm getting what now compile time error let me provide i'm providing some variable yes now in this job interface function interface is there any method with one parameter this is optional specifying type is optional is there any parameter yes or if you want we can specify like this this is also valid yes it is there now what you what you are going to do it now i am finding yes dot i'm writing some logic here yes dot length now i'm going to get that length in the form of string and then i want to return what is that length right now when I, what i'm going to do is when i run this program before that my compiler will check in this job function interface is there any method with the one parameter yes here one method is there with one parameter for this method it's going to map what are the what is going to map these are implementations like it's going to map to the what this method means for this length method these are the implementations now lambda expression is ready now how we want to invoke now i'm writing s y s o of job dot what is the method length let me pass the string i am passing to the main soft if i run this right first the control comes to main method and then here it's going to check in this job interface is there any method with the one parameter yes this is a method for this method these are the what implementations of object and then i'm calling length on where job job is of type what 
functional interface. That methods are going to be executed. It's going to return what is output. Stop there here now. That's it. This is through what now? The functional interface. Let me explain in the point of view. Right. I want to validate a variable. Some I want to validate a variable, right? Whether it is displayed or enabled. Right. So you know what I'm doing, or I want to get the attribute of some element, right? You see here, guys. Now I'm taking one class, functional interface and the lambda expression test three. Observe here, guys. So what I'm doing is observe carefully now. Let me take. I'm taking one interface, interface, some, some. I'm taking. Some verb element one. Assume that I pass one element. This should tell whether it is displayed or not. If it is displayed, it and true. Else, it and what now? False. Like I'm checking is visible. So I'm passing here the element as verb element and then some element. So what it needs to do is I pass one verb element. If it is, if that web element is displayed and enabled, it should return what now? True. It will return what now? False. So for that, what I'm doing is, let me write directly lambda expression. Right? Up oh, sorry, here, guys. Now, web element sum one of the equal. Writing open brace and then arrow mark and then now. So in this function interface. Is there any method with zero parameters? Not there. One parameter is there. Let me pass element, right? And then what we are going to do it now? Element dot is displayed and and element dot element dot is enabled. Then it should return what now? True. That is boolean some status. Else enabled and then return what is that now? Status. Now, what my compiler will do is up oh, here now in this verbalment function interface, is there any a method with one parameter? Yes, of course, this is the method, it is matching for this method. These are the what implementations. Perfect. Now, if I call one dot is visible, it is expecting what now? That web element. Now, what I'm doing is just stop here now. I'm writing you guys know Selenium, right? I'm not explaining anything. If you want, you can watch my videos. Remote web driver, some driver is equal to new from driver, right? Here, system dot set properties are not required because those I configured it more at system level. Now, I'm writing. Driver dot get off. I'm writing some HTTPS colon double slash www dot something from a soft dot com. And this, and this, I want to check driver dot. I'm taking some dummy code find element by dot id job. This is my web element. Once my Ramesh of page is open, I want to check. I want to check this element is displayed or not. Right? This job element is displayed or not. I want to validate it. But that here I'm passing what is that? Job. That's all. Automatically, this method is going to execute and then it returns what now? Either element if it is displayed or what or true, element and what now? False. And if you want here, you can specify the what type web element. If you don't specify also what, there is no problem. This is a way. Right. The second way is what I'm doing is let me take one more example. If I am going to pass the web element, I want the text of the web element. Right. So functional interface lambda expression plus the four. Up the rear, guys. Now, here I am taking right 
इंटरफेस समथिंग वेब एलिमेंट टू इन साइड दिस सो आई पास आई गिव वन वेब एलिमेंट गिव मी द एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ द वेब एलिमेंट राइट सो नाउ व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज द एट्रीब्यूट आई वांट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ स्ट्रिंग समथिंग लाइक गेट एट्रीब्यूट फॉर एलिमेंट सो आई एम पासिंग वेब एलिमेंट Perfect. This is my lambda expression. Sorry, this is my functional interface, right? Yes. I want to represent this one as a functional interface. What I'm doing now? We have a notation called what is that? Functional interface. Perfect. My method I'm taking now. What I have to do now? Yes. Now observe here, guys. Now I'm taking verb element. Two, sum two. So say equal to. For this, is there any lambda expression? Is there any function with zero methods in this? Not that. I have one parameter. Perfect. For this, I am providing the lambda implementations. Now, what I am doing is element dot get attribute of get attribute. I am passing id. That I'm going to get in the form of what now? String some attribute value. Now written, what is that? Attribute value means what my compiler will do is on this functional interface. Is there any method with one parameter? Yes. In this functional interface, we have a method with a one parameter. Absolutely fine. Perfect. No issues at all. If I remove this, now I'll get what now? Compile time error because on this functional interface we have what? A zero methods. Of course. Now for this method, it's mapped with what? These are the implementations. Perfect. Now what I have to do it now? Let me call that. Now two dot. What is the method? Get attribute. Here I need to pass from which element you want to get the attribute called id. That I need to pass it right. Go back to the previous one. Now let me right here. Now I am passing. What is that? So. Now that I am going to get in the form of what a string. Let me print on the console. That's it, boss. That's all. This is a way to use the things. Let's assume that that element is in this style. Input some id is equal to job. And uh, some name is equal to characters. Characters. Now here, right? Now here, right? I'm passing what is that? It. I'm going to get what? Job in the form of string. If I pass name, I'm going to get in the form of what? String in the form of characters. If I pass name, right? I'm going to get in the form of what? String. What is that? Name is having what is the value? This is characters. Right, so this is a way to use lambda expressions and what functional interfaces in both Java and C. Right, guys. Thank you so much, guys. If any doubts, just ping me in WhatsApp or drop an email on this. Right. So my email ID is romesoft dot selenium at gmail dot com. I my phone number and WhatsApp number is nine one triple seven nine one. Thank you guys. We are happy to be ready to help you. Happy. Thank you guys. Thanks so much. Have a good day.